have decided to give a review of vegetable peelers, which is probably the most boring utensil known to humankind. There's all sorts of other reviews out there for cameras, video cameras, cars, trucks, lighting equipment, makeup, luggage, all these other consumer goods that are really sexy. Vegetable peelers are not sexy. I photograph every day, but I still use my vegetable peeler more often than I use my camera, so yeah. Hey there, I'm Melissa Guerra. I am the Kitchen Wrangler, and today I am going to review, oh yes, vegetable peelers. Many of you know I had a retail store for many, many years where I sold kitchen goods. I sold kitchen tools, kitchen appliances, bowls, spatulas, you name it, I sold it. So I learned a lot about kitchen tools, and one of the things that I learned was buy quality, because buying a kitchen tool that's gonna last you for a while, it reduces your carbon footprint. I wanted to show you a few of the vegetable peelers that I have in my my kitchen. This is a type of vegetable peeler that I grew up using. Now, this one was made in the USA. USA! It's got a wooden handle and it's got these little scraping teeth for scraping carrots or celery, something that doesn't really need peeling. And the blade, it's really shot. It's really old and it's kind of squished together. So if you have a vegetable peeler like this, it probably needs to be retired. I've had this one for a very long time. It does not work. I should get rid of it. Yet it pains me greatly to throw it in the trash. It was made in Japan, it cost me about $1.50, and it's stainless steel. But the blade is garbage. It does not peel. Apparently it opens bottles as well, but most of the beverages are sold in cans anymore, or twist tops. Altogether, fairly useless. This vegetable peeler I bought about a year ago, and it's Kunraikon. It is Swiss made. I bought this because it was cheap. Plastic with a metal blade, but after about a year the blade is already rusting. Very disappointing, but it it was cheap and I got my money worth out of it. This is kind of an alternative peeler, which I use all the time. It's by another Swiss company called Xylus that I really love. A little tip fell off of it. But this is a soft skin peeler, which is really great if you want to peel tomatoes or overripe peaches. It does a really, really good job. It just kind of scrapes them off, but this isn't a really normal peeler. And yeah, even though the tip fell off, I'm still using it because I'm keeping my kitchen green. This is my favorite peeler of all. It is a Gifu, which is made in Germany. It is stainless steel, and you know it's a good peeler because it has a little protective cap on the blade. It has this little loop here that you can use to gouge. Ugh, that's not nice. We are talking about potatoes, but nobody wants to talk about gouging their eyes out or digging their eyes. I can't think of a good word, but you know what I mean. Like you use this to get the little eyes out of a potato. But the blade is awesome. It's for right or left hands. Really does get the job done. This vegetable peeler is way more expensive expensive than this one. But which one do you think is going to go into the garbage sooner? That's right, because it's already rusting and it's already on its way out. This one I'm going to have for about 10 or 15 years. So absolutely worth the extra money, very handy in the kitchen, and it gets me out of the kitchen a lot faster. So how did I do? Was this review of vegetable peelers useful or interesting, amusing? If so, give me a thumbs up or smash that subscribe button. And don't forget, if you have any questions, you can email me at help at kitchenwrangler.com or message me on Facebook or Instagram or here on YouTube. I'm here to answer any of your kitchen questions. I'm Melissa Guerra. I'm the Kitchen Wrangler, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here at the ranch again soon. Bye now.